I think more young people dropping dead in the bodybuilding industry more than ever. Steroids fucking kill you. The thing about bodybuilding is that you look great outside, but your inside's dying. This sport could take some years off your life. Steroids will kill you. Now I wish I never did that bodybuilding stuff. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In recent years, the bodybuilding world has been in a state of shock, especially after COVID-19. Most athletes, they have an enlarged heart, but the vaccine. And in 2021, so many bodybuilders died at a relatively young age. And last year again, bodybuilding community witnessed a very unusual and shockingly large number of sudden death, more than 60 as far as I know, including powerlifters. However, we will only discuss 36 well-known bodybuilders who passed away in 2022. Ashley Gerhardt was an IFB professional women's physique bodybuilder. Her first competition was in 2013 in the bikini division, but later on she switched to women's physique and since 2019, she was competing in IFB professional shows. The cause of Ashley's death was not revealed by her family before and it was published by her sister that Ashley died in her sleep. She said Ashley had a peaceful death with no pain. But later on it was investigated that Ashley died of cardiac arrest with number of contributing factors including chloric restriction, a thickened heart muscle, the use of steroids, diuretics and metformin. Mother of two children, Ashley was just 37 years old. 30 years old, famous Russian bodybuilder and professional powerlifter Sergey Lear suddenly passed away during a workout in the gym. According to the sources, he was prepping for an upcoming competition. In his professional powerlifting, he set a record of 440 kilograms of bench press. In 2021, he came third in Russian Grand Prix bodybuilding competition. He was also a family man. He left behind his wife and two small children. The cause of death was not revealed, but rumors claim it might be the heart attack. Dheeraj Dhaiya was competitive bodybuilder from India and he had been competing in national level shows for years. He seems to be fully healthy and he never had any health related issues ever before. But all of a sudden he passed away with a major heart attack at a very young age. Sayyid Dayan was upcoming and very promising bodybuilder also from India. He did compete in multiple bodybuilding shows in recent years. But sadly, he died with a sudden heart attack. He was only 23 years old. Bodybuilder for almost two decades, IFBB pro judge and prep coach Jerry Word suddenly died at age of 46. Later on, after some months, his wife Aaron Merritt revealed that he died from pulmonary embolism as a result of deep vein thrombosis. The reason Jerry died is he died of a pulmonary embolism. It's possible, it's probable that Jerry's living on TRT, like a lot of us. TRT is definitely a risk for hypercoagulable states, DVTs and pulmonary embolisms, guaranteed to be a risk. He was competitive bodybuilder for years, but he never turned pro and in recent years he was IFBB pro judge. Jerry was always very enthusiastic for bodybuilding and fitness. He always provided in-depth analysis and detailed observations on his YouTube channel and he was also running a successful supplement brand. He did not seem to be having any difficulty in his final YouTube video with the title Common Sense is Dead some hours before his sudden death. Jerry is surely a great loss for the current generation of bodybuilding. Probably most of us know Boston Lloyd from his YouTube video back in the day on his one year incredible transformation. He was always very transparent and honest about his bodybuilding journey, his steroids and synthol use and even his battle with stage 5 kidney failure. He was probably one of the first competitive bodybuilders on social media to openly reveal the steroid cycle and he became a very controversial figure in bodybuilding community because of his opinions and views on steroids and his experiments with different kind of drugs. One year before his demise, he was facing stage 5 kidney failure and would have needed dialysis at some point. He had chronically high blood pressure and he was waiting for a potential kidney transplant. And at the same time, he revealed that he was still using performance enhancing drugs. As far as me quitting on, on that, I'm not I'm not done with that. I'm still on a cycle now. Right. Um, you know, my dosages are low. I'm on 450 mg of testosterone, 300 DECA, 300 Primo, yeah. no orals. 
Boston Lloyd collapsed after a gym session at his home in Florida. He was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. After a while, the autopsy was revealed which says Boston died from an aortic dissection. While steroid use affected his heart and led him into kidney failure, his autopsy details show that genetics also played a major role in his death. But in my opinion, his drug abuse and very unhealthy lifestyle did speed up the damaging process. Mother of Boston, Marie Rea, believed that the bodybuilding industry will never apply any safety guidelines for athletes. She says, they will lose money, it's the whole thing of bodybuilding. It's a freak show, they want freaks out there. The freakier you are, the more money you make. You know, the thing about bodybuilding is that you look great outside, but your inside's dying. Like the kidneys, the, yeah. the heart it was enlar uh, enlarged and twice the right. weight. So the bodybuilding is, is a funny sport. You see them dying on stage because they look so great. How could they die? Right. Right. It's, it, it's even a worse sport than cocaine because cocaine, you look lousy when you're taking it. But bodybuilding, oh yeah, you look great. Everybody says how great you look. The bodybuilding community was stuck with a devastating loss with the passing of world-class IFBB professional bodybuilder Cedric McMillan. Cedric was also a military and family man and an inspiration for many in the bodybuilding and fitness world. He was known for having sheer amount of mass with classic lines. His Arnold Classic 2017 winning performance was one of the best physiques on bodybuilding stage. And he was Arnold Schwarzenegger's most favorite modern era bodybuilder. In December 2021, Cedric had to deal with COVID-19. Later on, he said he was having trouble breathing and he was diagnosed with pneumonia in the hospital. Doctors told him that his heart was functioning at just 10% of the normal heart. I've been having some, some issues for about four weeks now. And he spoke about a scary heart issue that resulted in a near-death experience. He said the virus makes protein levels spike in your heart. It makes us bodybuilders and fitness people particularly sensitive. Also, with most athletes, they have an enlarged heart. With the vaccine, well, no, the, the virus, it can actually attack your heart. He lost weight drastically around 30 to 40 pounds, but he still had plans to compete in 2022 Arnold Classic. And he quickly bounced back and regained his size. I'll be doing the Arnold Classic. I feel really good. Uh, my wife, she pissed off because I won't stop. Fans were very excited to see his potential return at the 2022 Arnold Classic, but this time Cedric had to withdraw due to lingering stomach issue. And right after one month, Cedric suddenly passed away at age only 44. Cedric's family did not disclose the actual cause of death, but his wife revealed that his death did not happen on a treadmill, nor it is known to be result of past COVID or vaccinations. While some rumors claim he died due to the heart attack and some say it could be due to virus or vaccine. As many believe and it's being discussed and evaluated in bodybuilding community that steroids and vaccine do not interact well and it can cause serious damage to the body. Cedric McMullen will always be remembered as one of the best bodybuilders. His amazing personality, his infectious smile, a gentle and kind heart and an incredible sense of humor will be deeply missed. He left behind his four children and his loving wife. Figure and bikini IFBB pro bodybuilder Stacy Cummings suddenly passed away at a very young age. It is so incredibly sad to see so many bodybuilders pass away so early. Her death at 31 years old gave an extreme shock to her fans and bodybuilding community that how can a fit looking girl leave the world at so early age of life. She had two children with her ex-husband Brian Fort, who is also an IFBB professional bodybuilder. Her death was shockingly very unexpected as her ex-husband explained she died in her sleep. 32 years old, well-known bodybuilder and civil engineer from Paraguay, Nicolas Daniel Martinez, died after spending hours in intensive care due to a deadly heart attack. The unexpected death of the fitness athlete happened just after taking second place in the Mr. Olympia Amateur South America 2022 competition. According to the reports, the athlete was rushed to the hospital but after a couple of hours in the intensive care unit, doctors could not save his life. 
Argentine bodybuilder Johanna Koija was found dead just few hours after winning second place at the South American Bodybuilding Championships in Brazil. The athlete suffered a cardiac arrest while she was sleeping. The hotel medical staff and the Brazilian Emergency Medical Service performed resuscitation for more than a one hour, which was unfortunately unsuccessful and doctor informed that it was a sudden death. Later on, the IFBB, the International Federation of Bodybuilding, published a statement on its social networks in which it explained, while sleeping, she suffered a cardiac arrest. 30 years old, Johanna was mother of two daughters. Another bodybuilder, Miguel Angel from Paraguay, died with cardiac arrest, and coincidentally, a few days before his demise, he competed in the same show South American Bodybuilding Championships, where Argentine bodybuilder Johanna Koija died with the same cause, cardiac arrest. Katsuya Kitamura was a former Japanese professional wrestler, and after quitting professional wrestling, Katsuya moved to the YouTube world and became a bodybuilder. According to the Japanese media E-Fight, Kitamura's cause of death was heart failure caused by hypoglycemia due to excessive weight loss and the use of drugs which damage the heart system and it is estimated that it is caused by long-term steroids use. He was planning to compete in bodybuilding show before his sudden death. He was 6 feet tall with 265 pounds of muscular physique. He had very strict diet and his training sessions used to be very intense. His main plan was to earn IFBB Pro Card. According to the officials, Kitamura felt sick and called an ambulance to take him to the hospital. His condition declined drastically after that, ultimately resulting in his death. 36 years old, Kitamura was a very well-known figure in Japan. 27 years old Scott Murray was well known for his excellent work and had a large following on YouTube and Instagram. He was certified coach and qualified personal fitness trainer as well. Scott used to have very intense workout routines and cardio without any rest day. He had not taken a single rest day in years as he mentioned that in 4 years there was not a single rest day. You have to be consistent. I've even trained through injuries, which I definitely don't advocate you do. You know, nosebleeds, uh, fainting, puking. Yeah, all of it has pretty much happened and I've still managed to train through it somehow. His each workout would result in his hand shaking, but he still took no days off. On top of this, he was sleeping around 3-4 hours per night and would use the extra hours to go for long walks to burn more calories. Same shit, different day. Presumably, he was suffering from an eating disorder and exercise addiction. Yeah, literally like a different level of fatigue has been experienced. We actually hit a few PRs, but man, the body is feeling battered as hell. Traps, upper back, forearms, but still, we got it done. He passed away due to heart failure in his apartment in Dublin, Ireland while he was making dinner. Another very young bodybuilder, Allah Yunus Altura from Jordan, died few days after competing in bodybuilding show. His brother explained the cause of death that he used to have very strict dieting for the competitions and for his bodybuilding lifestyle in order to achieve shredded physique for presenting on bodybuilding stage. He had men's physique competition in Tunisia and after one week he passed away. His brother further revealed the main cause of death that he had high blood pressure which led to an enlargement of heart muscle and he suffered a severe heart attack. His brother said he was very happy his last night before his demise and he stayed late at night playing with his four children and hugging them as he felt that he was saying goodbye to them and ultimately it was the last moment of his life. Former Junior Mr. America Robert Louis Rothrock aka Rock has passed away due to kidney failure as some sources claim. He was probably best known for beating Flex Wheeler in the competition early in his career in the NPC Junior Nationals. He was always in good shape and in impressive size even in his late 50s. Rothrock was known as a gentle giant and had very friendly personality in the bodybuilding community. Recently, an Iraqi bodybuilder, Muhammad Isa al Jabouri, has passed away in a relatively young age. According to the Iraqi media, the cause of death was due to the kidney failure as a result of taking muscle inflating hormones, probably site enhancement oil, which damaged his kidneys and ultimately he lost his life. 
The Iranian bodybuilding champion Yazdan Rod was the pioneer and very prominent figure of Iranian bodybuilding. He was known for earning first gold medal for Iran. He also won numerous bodybuilding titles in the international competitions. He underwent open heart surgery a while ago and he passed away at the age of 59. Former football player and competitive bodybuilder Christian Berkey was very well-known personality in Hungary. He died of a sudden death and his dead body was found in balcony. He was just 41 years old. Investigators found cocaine, marijuana and steroids in Berkey's apartment and later on his family revealed that Berkey had a bad blood result. He had high blood pressure and he was using performance enhancing drugs as well and also he was taking recreational drugs. His family did not reveal the cause of death but uh, it is estimated that he died by cardiac arrest. As famous toxicologist from Hungary, Zakhir Gabor explained his thought about Berkey's sudden death that the consumption of drugs, steroids and growth hormones by Berkey to build his physique possibly increased the risk of cardiac arrest. Last year, we lost another very well-known IFBB professional bodybuilder, Tom Prince. Prince managed to win his IFBB Pro card by winning the 1997 NPC National Championships, which was his only overall winning title. After becoming IFBB Pro bodybuilder, Tom earned a lot of fame. He was known for his freakish physique, especially for his well-built hamstrings. His bodybuilding career was on the rise. But all of a sudden, in 2002, at age 32, Tom had to retire due to serious kidney issues, which ultimately forced him to end his bodybuilding career relatively much early. You know, and at that point, my kidneys were 8 point, my creatinine level was 8.1, and sure. they were done. His highest professional placing was the 2001 Night of Champions where he finished third and he qualified first and the last time for the Mr. Olympia in 2001 where he took 16th place. Tom received a kidney transplant in 2012 however it failed two years later which required him to undergo dialysis three times a week and each treatment lasted for four hours. The former NPC Nationals winner faced numerous health issues over the last several years of his life. He was battling cancer at the time of his death. Raymond Patrick was a bodybuilder and also a powerlifter. He had years of chronic blood pressure which led to kidney issues and his kidneys failed in 2019 and since then he was on dialysis. In May 2021, Ray received a kidney transplant and less than a year later, due to compromised immune system from taking the anti-rejection medicines, in January 2022, Ray was diagnosed with Merkel cell carcinoma, which is a rare type of skin cancer, and it took him down very quickly. He passed away on 19 December 2022 at age 50. Just few months before his demise, he married with his longtime girlfriend Julie Thompson. Ray was well known for his incredible strength in powerlifting community. Bodybuilder Ronnie Schwire passed away at 57 years old. Ronnie had a great career as an amateur bodybuilder with an incredible physique. He did not turn pro but he built an impressive physique during his bodybuilding career in 1980s and early 90s. He had true passion for weight training and bodybuilding for his entire life and he even kept himself in a great shape throughout his whole life. According to the sources, Ronnie lost his life after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. Another bodybuilder is Haq Gavidil from Iran, passed away at age 35 after battling for several years with sarcoma cancer. Ishaq underwent brain tumor surgery and several operations to eradicate the sarcoma cells in 2018, but sadly after 4 years he died at only 35 years old. The Iranian bodybuilder's career reached its peak in 2018 after he competed in the popular Toronto Pro Show, which was his only IFBB Pro Show. He was known for his size and freaky physique. Isaac claimed that he got deadly cancer because of the consumption of performance-enhancing drugs and anabolic steroids for years, which ultimately caused him losing his overall health and he passed away at just 35 years old. Before his death, he kept warning people about anabolic steroids and their side effects. He tried really hard to launch awareness campaigns for young people who are interested in bodybuilding so they would not repeat his mistakes.
As there is no free ride in this world, anabolic steroids will most likely give you the external look you want, but it will come with heavy price and some side effects will not go away for the rest of your life. At the end it's a personal choice but if you don't want to damage your health as health is the most precious treasure and it should be prioritized in my honest opinion, you need to know the natural ways which are long lasting and healthy. InnoSup's supplement brand is very promising if you want to enhance your physique and improve your overall performance naturally with no side effects. Their ThermoShed stack comes with 4 products, InnoCleanse which really helps to flush out toxins from your body and it basically supports digestive system very well. InnoShred contains several natural ingredients and it dramatically does increase energy expenditure and metabolism. It will help you to burn more fat and control your appetite during the day. I personally take it in my pre-workouts and it really improves my performance during the workout. Nightshred is really amazing product. It has magnesium oxide, GABA, ashwagandha, melatonin, these kind of natural ingredients which really improve the quality and the quantity of your sleep. Plus, you are burning fat in Thai night as well. Last but not least, Vulcan 2000 is a thermogenic carnitine which will mobilize your fat cells and burn them for energy. So the thermoshirt stack is very promising to give you realistic results and for more details please click on the link in this video's description and let me know your experience with the InnoCeps thermoshirt stack after using it. The legendary bodybuilder Andrei Kazichenka from Russia died in USA due to a terrible disease. Andre moved to USA and continued his training and maintained his physique until the age of 59 and since 2019 he was fighting with the cancer multiple myeloma. He fought with cancer for at least 3 years but unfortunately the disease could not be defeated. Andre died at the end of the last year in December in a Florida state hospital. He was best known for his title as the absolute champion of the last USSR bodybuilding championships in 1991. Muhammad Yahya Bhatt was one of the big names in Pakistani bodybuilding community. He was extremely famous in Pakistan and he was known as Pakistani Arnold Schwarzenegger because of his impressive achievements in Asian bodybuilding. He was three times Mr. Asia, five times Mr. Pakistan Olympia and he also won the best poser award in Asia. Yahya was very helpful for bodybuilding community of his country. Two years ago, he defeated deadly COVID-19 disease after being on ventilator in ICU for two weeks in hospital. But last year, he lost his battle with bowel cancer and he died at age 60. The bodybuilding community was shocked by the unexpected passing of German bodybuilder and the founder of Frey Nutrition, Andreas Frey, who died suddenly in his sleep. Andrea Frey was well known for competing in the IFBB and NABA but his most famous appearance was definitely at the 2006 Night of Champions where he managed to finish in second place behind one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, Lee Priest. In 2007, when his bodybuilding career was on the rise, he suffered a severe pack injury which forced him to retire from bodybuilding. But he did compete in 33 bodybuilding shows and he won 15 of them. After retirement, he started his own supplement brand, Frey Nutrition, which became really popular in Germany and he was coaching some athletes as well. The sudden death of Andreas Frey shocked the entire bodybuilding community since 43 is still a young age. The cause of death was not revealed, but rumors around social media claim that the bodybuilder died of an acute heart condition. Recently, a very well-known Greek bodybuilder Kostas Kutrubas suddenly passed away. His last competition was 2014 WOBA Championships where he won the Master 40 plus class. His death came as a shock to all who knew him as he did not have any health-related issues. According to his close friends and family, he was recently vaccinated before his sudden demise. And also several Greek media platforms shared this shocking news. He was 48 years old. The bodybuilding world was shocked by the strange death of another famous IFBB pro bodybuilder Paul Polochak. He was born in Poland but since the age of 4 he had been living in Germany. Paul started bodybuilding at the age of 16 and in 2017 he won Arnold's Classic Emma Short Show where he received his pro card. 
His last competition was 2021 IFBB Europa Pro Championships and he was going to compete again very soon. But all of a sudden he died at age 37 just hours after attending the NPC Worldwide Championships bodybuilding event in Germany. The exact cause of Paul's death is unknown but death in the bodybuilding community have been on the rise in the last 2-3 years. Substances like anabolic steroids, growth hormones and insulin abuse and avoiding regular checkups at the doctors seems to be the most common mistakes. What is consistent is the media reporting these deaths as mystery while on the other hand, many people are estimating that vaccination must be leading cause of mysteries at the moment. So amazingly, Dr. Bhakti, of course, published a paper over a year ago warning about blood clots, but the research was ignored. It was suppressed. It was blocked by the mainstream media. Paul left his wife and young daughter behind. This is Doug Brignoli. Doug Brignoli was a bodybuilder, fitness coach, biomechanics expert and author of the physics of resistance exercise. Throughout his bodybuilding career, Doug was primarily known for his proportions and shape. He was always in tremendous shape even at age 62 he had impressive physique and he still maintained an excellent training routine and he was preparing for guest posing at the Mr. Universe. Brignoli was also known for his vast amount of knowledge about training and maximizing muscle gain and he was so enthusiastic about sharing knowledge with others. His career spanned for more than 43 years with several huge accomplishments. The sudden passing of Brignoli became a mystery and controversy on social media as Brignoli was highly supportive of the vaccine months before his death. As the COVID vaccine was one of the most divisive things to emerge in the last couple of years, he announced on Facebook that he would gladly serve as a test to determine whether the vaccine was safe and effective. He was urging skeptics to use him as an example of vaccine safety. A few months later, he died. People are still looking back at his social media posts in which he expressed great confidence in the vaccine's safety and effectiveness. He was seemingly very healthy and fit and he took good care of himself. But the COVID-19 infection was announced as the reason of his death, not the vaccine. The princess of Thailand suddenly collapsed just days after receiving her booster shot. She's still in a coma. According to reports, she's most likely affected, most likely a victim of the jab. But his mysterious death has been raising many questions and gathering attention. It's unfortunate that he passed away so suddenly that many people can't help but point to the connections to the vaccine he received only months earlier. As the mainstream media is of course silent, some influencers are sharing the story on social media and offering condolences for his untimely death. The bodybuilding community witnessed the another loss of passing of a talented 19 years old aspiring Canadian bodybuilder Riley Pulphy. He lost his life in tragic motorcycle accident. He was truly gifted in the physique department with a small tiny waist against his massive upper frame. And he was a big fan of old school classic physique look. Pulphy had some insane genetics and surely he would have made some incredible potential in the bodybuilding. NPC bodybuilder Sergio Fernandez from Mexico tragically lost his life at the age of 41. Sergio was assaulted and shot to death in a robbery attempt after leaving the gym in the Mexico City. He left behind his wife and few months old son. 30 years old bodybuilder and medical student Josh Crane sacrificed his life in a rescue attempt in the river. After rescuing two female students, sadly Josh did not make it out of the river. He was later found dead. He was fitness enthusiast and he recently competed in the bodybuilding show. Last year, Bodybuilding World lost one of the greatest legend, IFB Hall of Famer, Mr. America, five-time Mr. Universe, Bill Pearl, who passed away peacefully in his house at the age of 91. He was a mentor for many and training partner to nine Mr. America winners and 14 Mr. Universe champions, including 1982 Mr. Olympia champion Chris Dickerson. He was named the world's best built man of the century in 1974. He also received the Lifetime Achievement Award from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Bill was involved in a mower accident before his death and his wife announced that he had recently overcome a serious bacterial infection after intense antibiotic therapy due to the accident. 
At the same time, he was battling Parkinson's disease which was diagnosed in 2016 and this disease finally defeated him as his wife explained. Last year, we lost another bodybuilding legend, Mr. Beach Hall of Famer, Mr. America, Mr. World, and winner of numerous bodybuilding titles, Eddie Giuliani. Eddie was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, and he had a very successful and extensive bodybuilding career spanning over four decades. Giuliani was former trainer partner of seven-time Mr. Olympia champion Arnold Schwarzenegger. He dedicated his entire life to fitness and bodybuilding. He was known for his unique sense of humor and an amazing personality. He left a positive impression on all who knew him. Legendary Silverera bodybuilder Marvin Ida, now known as the Bicep from the Bronx, passed away at the age of 90. He was one of the greatest and strongest bodybuilders ever. He was not only an incredible bodybuilder but also a weightlifter. He was known as the bench press king and he was the first man under 200 pounds body weight to bench press 500 plus pounds. He was known not only for his aesthetically appealing physique but also for his impressive feats of strength. Marvin did not have a long bodybuilding career, he competed between 1949 to 1951. According to sources, Marvin stopped competing due to politics in the sport. He was only 20 years old. But he won three contests during his short career, the Junior Mr. New York and the Junior Northern American Championships in 1949 and Mr. Eastern America in 1950. Many in the bodybuilding industry believe that Marvin Ida was pound for pound the strongest bodybuilder to ever live and he considered one of the most genetically blessed bodybuilders in the history. Many legendary bodybuilders such as Arnold Schwarzenegger and Reg Park were inspired by Marvin's physique and his incredible strength. It's almost unbelievable that Marvin Ida was completely natural bodybuilder who competed from age 18 to 21 and that makes his career even more impressive. He was the last silver era bodybuilder. Frank Kalta passed away due to the complications from COVID pneumonia. Frank was an incredible athlete. He was longtime fitness gym owner in Tampa and at his peak he owned 11 gyms throughout Tampa. In 1979, Frank won Mr. Tampa and Mr. Florida bodybuilding titles. He was surely a pioneer of bodybuilding and an important figure in the fitness community. He always loved to share knowledge and he was very passionate to help others. He was truly an inspiration to everyone and an influential voice in bodybuilding. He died at the age of 75. Liu Denny aka Mark Forrest was a bodybuilder, actor and also an opera singer. He was born in 1933 and he began bodybuilding when he was just 13 years old and later on he opened his own gym in Long Iceland. Liu competed in several bodybuilding shows and he was very famous bodybuilder back in the 1950s but he never won a major competition. He won Mr. Muscle Beach title in California. Liu was one of the top muscular actors of the peplum genre and in his later years he became a vocal coach in California. He died a day after his 89th birthday. It's convincible and safe to say that the modern era bodybuilders are dying young as they have pushed their bodies to the limit while back in the day bodybuilders were not as shredded and muscular as today's bodybuilders but they did not have such kind of health related issues which new generation is facing in order to fulfill their dreams. I think it's time to prioritize our health. Thanks for watching.